want really something wonderful and high end, go to the Herzog Single Vineyard Wines. Clone 6, Oakville, Bassin, some really wonderful wines there. If you want something really nice and light, but really high end, go to Castell and get their rosé. Um, Shiloh has always been a favorite of mine. Um, there was a really wonderful wine from Chianti that just came out called Tierra de Seta, and it's really great. They're uh, Reserve Chianti Classico. Reserve Chianti Classico from Tierra de Seta. So many other wines. There's a wonderful Fumé from Guspe. Now, Guspe has always been known for their Sauvignon Blanc. This is also a Sauvignon Blanc, but it's gone through some oak aging. It's gone through some, um, you know, some longer fermentation process, colder, longer fermentation process. Lots more fruit, lots more length, lots more richness. Great bottle of wine. Um, Carmel has got some inexpensive new wines. They're not even in yet, but by the time we'll be seeing this uh, video, they might be in, and that is the uh, selected, there's three wines, Emerald Riesling Shannon, which is semi-dry or semi-sweet, for those people who like something sweet, Sauvignon Blanc, which comes from the Galilee, and finally, a really good Cabernet. So there is some great, great, great wine. Okay, so you asked me about why we do the quote gargling. Hakadosh Baruch was very good to us. He created us an interesting body, and especially the tongue. The tongue has all kinds of taste buds. The front has taste buds that can only detect sweet. The sides of the tongue have taste buds that can only detect. Sour. I'm here with Yaakov Berg of Sago, who makes some of the most wonderful wine from Eretz Yisrael. And the reason why you do this gargling is so that you can involve all the parts of your taste buds. And I'm going to demonstrate. Now, if you involve all the... Wow. I'm drinking Yako's Cabernet Franc Reserve. It's an amazing bottle of wine. And if you if you do what I just did and involve your entire tongue, just like you involve all parts of your body in whatever you do, you'll get more pleasure out of it. And that's what I cut far as wants. Don't you agree? 100 percent So I did, I'm an official taster at some very high-end tastings. In some cases, we'll taste 400 wines or up to 600 wines over three days. And you asked me about this before, I'm going to tell you. What you're supposed to do is really taste and spit. Otherwise, by the time you taste your sixth or seventh wine, you won't know what's flying anymore. This one, you see, it's, uh, it's Monday tonight. I see, it, I, I checked on the calendar. It's not, it's, it's, not, it's not Thursday night or, or, Shabbos, or Shabbos night. But our patron, which we make, is good to eat any given day of the week. This is my second year. Last year we had a great time, we were looking forward to it, and it exceeded our expectations. Amazing. Uh, this is my second year here, and it gets better every year. Right now I'm drinking at Tier Forest, which is uh, known to be an excellent vintage great wine. The champagne dude, what are you doing? I don't like champagne. <laughs> my name is Alhanan Tanenbaum. I'm a Shia in Napa Valley, California since 2006. In 2007, I made my first vintage of one case of 2007 Cabernet Sauvignon from the Oakville region of California. Subsequently, in 2008 and 2009, I, I received a parcel of land, a vineyard that I grew, that I tended the grapes, managed the vineyard, and I produced two vintages from the top to the bottom. Stop pouring, stop pouring and all I made 25 pieces of each vintage. And in 
2010, I went into a partnership with Covenant Wines, where we produced Kube Chabad for the public. And in 2011, we produced 101 cases, which sold out for Thank, the shop. thank you for coming. And we're in our second work. vintage, you are not which working. is a 2012. We made 112 cases, and we've sold out half the cases of Baruch Hashem. And it's phenomenal wine, phenomenal reviews from across the board, from Jewish people, non-Jewish people, people in the industry, in Napa Valley. And this is something that is a benefit, it's created to benefit Chabad of Napa Valley as well, to introduce people to phenomenal wine and to get people, to encourage people to have more good kosher and wine. Uh, now, what's your projections for next year? Even more than next year, we, we've done a little bit more. We want to, we want to keep it small. We want to keep it exclusive. This is an exclusive run that Covenant is doing, and as things grow, we are slowly increasing. Right now, we, we want to keep it as a, something that is a limited edition. The famous Gemara, Gedele Lugim Hashem Shemekarevas, the wine is without a doubt the, the beverage of the Mekarev people. People who have tremendous, tremendous respect that I've done, I've worked on the wine, I've attended a vineyard which is tremendous, tremendous work, and it takes a lot of care to put a lot of work in, in many different ways to do that. And from that respect, it turns a respect to the table. And particularly if it's the, the process involves potato and everything about the, the mentions of it about wine, and something that I interweave in my presentation as well. Uh, and it grows between the two, it grows, there's a respect and it's also known about Rashi, and Rashi's spirit of Pera, the extrapolation from that, it's called the Yenish of Pera as well, and Rashi is also the winemaker in the, the wine region of Bordeaux. So, the physical work in wine definitely brings out the inner aspect, the esoteric, the hidden aspects of the Pera as well. So, with those two mediums, we are... Thank you.